Hi, welcome to Air Engine Research. For you new viewers, what I'm trying to do is build a compressed air engine or motor that I can put in my Ram 50 pickup truck. And I've produced a number of videos. If you go to the website Air Engine Research on YouTube, you'll be able to look at what I've done in the past and where I'm at. And if you subscribe, then each time I have an update or a new video, you'll be notified so that you can come watch it. Um, for the rest of you who's been following me for a while, you know that I've been using a uh, wooden base uh, on this oval air engine that I'm working on. I had two cylinders made and mounted, and I decided that I was going to go ahead and put a third one on. And the other day when I had the cylinder valve base finished, I mounted it on the wooden base and was testing it out, and uh, I knew eventually something would go wrong, and it did. Uh, the cylinder just kind of raised up somehow, and the piston went flying, and I had to decide that I was going to make a metal base for it, something that would hold that three-quarter plywood and the four bolts. I guess it was just too strong, and it just pulled them up, and I'll show you a picture in just a minute. And then we can go on from there where, where I'm at up till now. Uh, I made the uh, base actually a number of years ago on a three-cylinder one that I had already running on that uh, double plate engine that I was working on. But luckily this base is just almost the perfect size. So all I had to do was just uh, mount the oval uh, air motor parts to it and redrill the holes for mounting and was able then to use the the base plate to continue my my work um, I'm going to have to come up with a valve system that will allow me to operate either one cylinder, two cylinders, or three cylinders. But we can talk a little bit more about that later on. And today I'm out in the garage and I've got the three cylinders mounted and I had to take off a couple of them and put an o-ring inside to seal but uh, I just wanted to make a little short video I guess of what what happens when you turn it on if it's in the right spot and all it's got a fair amount of torque seems like because it wants to spin the thing whenever you start it. If I don't watch it it from the weight of the O-ring on the outside makes it want to slide around. But that's good. That means it has a fair amount of torque, I guess. Let's see. I don't have them all hooked up yet. I've just got this one right here now. <clears throat> so when I put it there to where it should start. See what it does. That's on number two cylinder. If I take that off. Move it to number, say number one. Uh, 
I still got to put an O-ring in number three yet, so it's leaking a little bit. Pretty easy to work on though. I've got uh, four bolts. Take that off. You can take the whole, basically, that's the engine right there piston, push rod, put the ball back in, the little spring. I guess you see I've got a coat on, so it's pretty cold out here in the garage. I do have a fire, but uh, this morning it was zero degrees, so everything's kind of cool out here. And put your back in. My spring and piston back in. Set her back in there. Hook up the hose. The three hoses will be used to go to a, a block where all three of them are hooked up to it. And then there will be a valve to operate either two cylinders or all three cylinders. One of them, number one, this one will be on all the time. These two you can turn on and off so you can save air whenever it's moving. But for right now, whoops, that's on number one. So take that off. Put it on number three. Rotation is this direction, so it's one, two, and three. And as you can see again, too, I also I changed the uh, the base on it. I had that wooden base to start with, just to get everything lined up and put together and try things, but. Eventually that had to be changed. So now we should be on number three. Oop. Something. Okay, it won't run backwards, but it can go backwards. Pressure. It's just one of those little pancake things that I'm using, so it comes on and off pretty quick. And also, there is one thing that I might mention. Each cylinder fires two times for one complete revolution. This is on number one. This is the fires one time, and on this one, it fires again. 
So it fires two times for every revolution. So this is the same thing as a two-cylinder engine, or here it would be a four-cylinder engine with, with, with one and two running. If you have three, two, and one running, then it's like a six-cylinder because it fires six times for every revolution, which is going to give it a lot more power. But it's going to use air too. So hopefully you can have the gear ratio set up so that it uh, will compensate for it. You don't have to have as low a gear ratio. You can have a higher gear ratio to end up being the same uh, thing as if it was just firing one time for each cylinder. But I think we might be happy to have the combination of being an oval. No leaks anywhere. That's good. <coughs> pressure that I'm running right now is about 130 and when it will be running it'll probably be on like 200 so and it's a inch and a quarter cylinder so every hundred psi you get roughly maybe not quite one and a quarter times the pressure so 100 psi you'd be getting 125 on the piston pushing the o-ring to the oval. I'd like to jump in for just a minute and make some comments about what you just saw. The uh, cylinder has one push rod and it has one piston and the, the engine itself has three cylinders and an oval ring and a rotor that's attached to the shaft inside. So that means that there's only seven moving parts compared to a gasoline engine which has thousands of parts, the diesel also. And this thing has to be something that I can make myself, something that's simple, and something that's not very expensive and very reliable. And I think that you'll find all these things will be evident later on when uh, you see it on a vehicle or my test vehicle. Well, thanks for checking in, and I hope it's been interesting for you. And if you think so, please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Please subscribe if you think it's worthwhile.